All right, it is December 21st and it's starting to get cold here in New Hampshire, which is great because that means that hopefully in a few weeks we'll have some ice for ice fishing. So today I'm going to put my bait trap in, see if we can start catching some bait. I kind of like these Mr. G's minnow traps. They work pretty good. Um, I make a few modifications here. One, I, I put a little zip tie here so that if it does come apart underwater, which sometimes they do, I don't lose the second half of my trap. And I also uh, tie on the little the little attachment. So same reason in case something comes apart. Um, this spot here, I've got a beaver dam. It's pretty good because it, it doesn't always freeze. Um, sometimes it does. I've fished this area before uh, for bait. I've tried above the dam, below the dam. I catch them in both spots. But I tend to do a little bit better below the dam here. So I'm gonna put this bait trap right in the hole. Um, I do bait my bait trap and I bait it with dog food. I make these little, little baskets. Uh, they work really well because you just drop them in the trap like so. Um, that way, you know, sometimes this stuff will get slimy whether you put dog food in it, bagels, bread, or whatever. Um, and you can just bring this home and, and have a new one with you and put a new one in. And that way, the whole trap doesn't end up slime. You don't have to bring the whole trap home and clean it. So we're going to put this in here and uh, we'll put the trap together and get started. All right, it's pretty much as simple as that. These little traps go together pretty easy. That just slides in. Close that part. And then this guy hooks in to these two little loops. latches in there and there we go and then we just throw it under under there I've got a rope on it I use paracord sometimes um, if it's not gonna freeze if something that is I think is gonna freeze I've got some bailing wire that I use it's uh, you know when I'm hatching it out with the axe it's a little bit better uh, so let's throw it in and get her tied up I'm just gonna tie it to a root here on the shore I think um, oh and, and one more thing is this area is uh, it's public land it's owned by the town but it's right near a place that has a lot of good trails and people tend to stay on the trails and tend not to come over here uh, which is nice because when I had a trap closer to where the people were um, it ended up getting stolen and that was kind of a pain but I try to keep it somewhat remote and it's also I'm probably 50 feet from the road so it's really easy access um, really easy to come check it I can stop on the way home from work or whatever so let's get her in there Here we go right here. I'm just gonna tie it right to that. bury it up a little bit in case someone does come down here unlikely to see it which means they're unlikely to take it so uh, that's it we'll come back in a, in a day or two and see if we catch anything 